Hello MechWarriors, how's it going and welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online. Today it is time to play the Jester because I wanted to play a laser boat and I wanted to try the new large lasers, the Inosphere large lasers. Something changed since the April patch and that something is actually quite cool because now we can fire four large lasers without ghost heat, which is quite nice to have actually. And I would say this change benefits the mechs which have a limited amount of hard points. So I was thinking about taking a Black Knight or a Grasshopper, but then I realized, you know what, we have so many energy hard points and the medium lasers only weigh one ton. So having like three larges and a good chunk of mediums is, I would say, the more efficient build because you save the weight. But the Jester here has six energy hard points and it highly benefits from, you know, having the large lasers like that now. We can now run five, no, sorry, four of them at the same time, and uh, two ER medium lasers in the center, which gives us a solid alpha strike of 46 damage, and as you can see, the rest is just heat management. We got an XL engine 300 for some mobility, and I'm going XL here, which is more risky or riskier, uh, but the catapult has a quite low silhouette. It's quite a small mech for a heavy, and not many people actually go for catapults as their first priority, so therefore we can actually get away with an XL engine here. That's the cool thing about it. It actually gives us a good speed of 74.8 kph, which means we are quite maneuverable, and uh, we also have a good upper torso mobility, so we can aim our lasers quite nicely. That's really nice. We also have a targeting computer here for a little bit of a beam range boost, a little bit of a crit bonus, as well as zoom level, which is nice because we are a medium range mech here, and we also get a targeting boost, which means that we can see the enemy spots, uh, the weak spots earlier, so we can lock onto them a little bit quicker and uh, see their, their loadout and, you know, their paper doll silhouette and see where we should shoot our lasers and we should aim them. Cool thing about the Jester is also that he or it can run two jump jets. That's it. We can run two, no more, no less. Actually, we could run less, but that is it. I really like the mobility of the mech. I really like the loadout of the mech and it's a lot of fun to play. You will see that. Watch the second game. It's hilarious, guys. Let's take a look at the skills here before we dive into the games. And as you can see, we got laser duration, obviously, because we are a laser boat. And on the way down, down, I was trying to max out heat gen. We are missing a little bit of heat gen here. This is one point, but other than that, we have everything. And this is the thing that you should probably go for to actually be able to shoot often and deal a lot of damage. On top of that, we got a good chunk of cooldown, a little bit of range, but I was skipping those range nodes here. I was skipping the cooldown here. We don't necessarily need that. I definitely wanted a little bit of extra armor hardening, so we are a bit more protected of an XL destruction, and uh, therefore I was going down the left side of the survivability tree, getting armor hardening like crazy this is really really helpful and then of course a maximum cool run one two three four five and maximum heat containment that's super important for an energy boat like that as well we also got 60 percent rate of deprivation for nice defensive maneuvers as well as double cool shot i think that goes without saying we want to be as cold as possible so we can deal as much damage as possible and our supplement today is a uav and that's the build everybody i wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now and if you have that then don't forget to leave a rating and subscribe to the channel for more and now it's it's time to hit the battlefield. Alrighty, first game of the day. We are playing Terra Therma. We are playing Domination. We have the large lasers here. We have the mediums here. And actually, I feel I always feel like I'm in an X-Wing when I'm running the, the Jester or a catapult that has those lasers here. The K2 has the same thing, so that's quite cool. Uh, anyway, we're gonna go to the left side. We're gonna go to Fox 8 because it's a better spot than Fox 7. If you, you know, uh, if you have too many mechs in Fox 7, you are clumping up so much and you cannot really do anything. There is no good cover. There is a lot of open terrain to cross in order to get to your enemies. Instead, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna try to contest enemies early because we have 555 meters range, 444 on the ER mediums. That's quite cool. And we're gonna get up here and see if we can shoot into the Gulf 6 area because this is where our enemies will be coming from. So let's actually use night vision. I can see somebody already. A very brief shot there. Um, actually, let's go. Yeah, let's keep night vision on here. I think it's better to actually see what's going on. Okay, I hope they don't see me. There's a guy. All right. Got it. Um, the big question is, do I want to get on the high ground? Yes or no? Okay, jumping backwards here. We have some pressure in the center, actually. That's good. And I think I, I want to stick to this position for a while. Until there is a better opportunity to, you know, do something here. Jumping... There is... Oh, I wanted to say there is nobody. Actually, let's get up here on the high ground. Let's take a little bit of... Oh, nope. Never mind. Stalker is pushing. I'm gonna push with him. Alrighty. We are making a push towards the center. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
what can we do against those guys there? I just wanted to check. I saw some missiles flying and I wanted to see if I can actually hit somebody there. We are putting a lot of pressure on those guys. Uh, the question is, how long are we going to do that? Yeah, it's a thunderbolt. Good to know. Let's try to hit him again. Can I? I can hit that guy. Oh, and I can get hit in return with a lot of damage. Those missiles are nasty. Yeah, doesn't look great here. I, actually, you know what? We're going to reinforce the left side. Seems like we are rolling over the left, and then we're going to go to the right side afterwards. So let's help out here. Yeah, let's go left side, guys. Let's go left side, kill all of them. Okay. Hello, Fafnir. I got hit hard by that Fav. Mm. And then, aha, I was on top of somebody. I thought I could shoot, and then I fell. And as a result, you could see what happened. Uh, this is too clumped up here. Way too clumped up. Uh, this is also a problem. Let's take it out real quick. Where is it? Okay. So, UAV kill, and here we are. Getting a little bit of damage. Ah, I tried to maneuver, but I can't. That's unfortunate. I really want to get those high ground guys there. So, we got a kill. We also got a casualty already. Those peekers, they are a problem. Also, my friends, they are a problem. Since I want to get those guys out, and there are always people shifting in front of me. No blame, by the way. No blame. Just a, a thing that happens here. Also, I want to be in optimal range, so let's go ahead and push a little further ahead. Try to, try to go for those guys there. And cool shot. Why not? I mean, currently, currently it's kind of working. We need to apply a little bit more, though, in terms of pressure. At this point, I'm not shooting my medium lasers because this guy is too far away. We're not dealing optimal damage. Now we are again against the Clops, the Cyclops. That's a kill. Nice. And we have four and two. Some people are behind us. But you know what? We're going to go for those guys here, the Marauder. It's a little bit toasty at this point. Luckily, nobody is going for me. We're going to stay on the Marauder, try to take out the rocks there. That's important. Let's go for the mediums as well. And then a bit of chain fire. And I think we got that side also almost done. Oh, incoming missile. Not good. Can we get it? Not quite. All right. So this guy is down. And now we go for a little bit of chain fire. Cool. So guys, keep up the push. We have something going here. Good. Let's go for Mr. Rifleman, actually. It's an easier target. Try to absorb all of that damage. And it was a lot of ATM fire. All right, so keep in mind, guys, we are running an XL engine. So we need our friends to push for us now. Cannot hit that guy. Not really. All right. Let's go for the Vapor Eagle once more because he was really nasty to us. So let's be nasty to him. There's still a missile boat on the right side that we have to be aware of. Can we kill him? I mean, he's almost down. Somebody's going for the missile boat on the right. That's good. There we go. That's what we wanted here. Let's go for the hopper. Seems like he is being he's being shot by everybody. Cool. And now Mr. Thunderbolt here. Bzz, bzz, down he goes. And 10 and 3. Beautiful. The Nova Cat on the side is down. One last target in Hotel 6. I don't know what it was, but uh, it is a um, heavy? No, it's a medium. Eh? Another Vapor Eagle. So, guys, well done. Cool thing is we actually pushed him out of the circle. If my enemies were in the circle now, they could have actually won this game by just being there because we were completely getting out of this here. But, hey, we won. It was good. And I don't know how much damage I did. I mean, it was Terra Therma. It was quite hard. I also missed a bunch of shots there, especially in the early game when it was kind of shifting around a lot and um, I'm, I would say at about 550 maybe 600 damage here let's take a look at that I like the cadence of that I like the rate of fire here. that was really good and we could actually shoot a bunch of times until we were at the the heat scare there 599 not too bad we got one killing blow we got 10 assists we got 256 taken as well as three components destroyed and that's the first round so let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down all right second game of the day we are playing the caustic valley we are playing conquest we are definitely going to the center and or left side of this whole situation here because our assault makes are there so let's get up to echo 4 and get to delta 4 afterwards and uh, i'm thinking about getting theta but i don't I don't think it's a good idea getting my mech, my heavy mech, into the center. I think this is a job for the light mechs. However, if they are enemy light mechs, we can try to contest them. We can try to shoot them. So we go for night vision because that helps us seeing through the smoke. And uh, we're going to see if we can find somebody there and support our commando. That is the idea here. So Theta is being captured. That's interesting. There is a guy. All right. We have a cheetah in the center. Okay, let's try again. Oh, yes, that's some damage. And a guy again? Oh, yes. We definitely dealt some damage against that guy. Um, shall we go kind of on the right side? 
It seems like my people want to do that, and there is a good target. It's a Mauler as well as a Mad Kitten. Uh, all right, so I'm stuck. I'm stuck on my Supernova friend or Roughneck. Roughneck it is. Okay, but you know what? We got the jumps, so we got the jets, and we got the overview here. Cool, cool, cool. Here is a friend, a commando. I want to pull back from that, not getting hit, hopefully. I mean, we have a firing line situation, which is actually quite good for us. Is, is, is that a cheetah from earlier? I don't know. Uh, I do know, however, that we can actually uh, jump up and down a lot here. So yeah, we have a lot of pressure on that side. Let's keep that up. Strike is out, you say. Pretty good. And are we going to go for the cat? Um, problem is, he's probably going to go for me now. He's not. That's interesting. So we're going to drop that cool shot and we're going to take that side tour. So that's what we do. I'll take that. Ooh, not quite enough. Ah, but now we got him. Perfect. So we're going to help out here against the mauler. Are we still getting shot? That's weird. Hello, Mauler. Um, hi, I want to shoot you. Ah, no! That was bad. That was a bad shot. I didn't even hit the arm. Yeah, let's get them. Okay, one more shot. And down he goes! And we are just mildly overheating. I'm sorry. <laughs> He stole my kill, is what he said. Uh, I should not jump around. I should save heat. Let's um, let's maneuver here over to the right side. Let's see what we can do. Also, again, heat and or night vision. I'm dead. Am I? I'm not. <laughs> that is a dire wolf. All right, let's contest him. Okay, left side. I am not made for that. Mm -hmm. Somebody else take point. I'm out of here. <laughs> So yeah, we are a bit too reckless at this point. I thought we could go in and get a peek out, but he was ready with his auto cannons. Let's try to flank, shall we? <laughs> Man, that right side also doesn't look great anymore. What about that guy, huh? Timber? Okay, we got another kill. Stole it! <clears throat> okay, six and one, looking good though. Let's go ahead and shoot the archer, because that's the thing that we can do. Staying in the back mostly. And I wonder if they are still the flanker. Yeah, he is still here. Uh, it's an MRM Wolverine. I don't care about him though. I don't care. Let's go over here. Actually, I can care about him now because I see him now. And he is actually in my flank. Also, the enemies are getting some kills in return. Let's try to stay behind them. Behind my friends, that is. Stole another kill. <clears throat> okay. Perfectly deserved that. Eight and four. Thanatos, Archer, where are you, buddies? I uh, gotta be careful. Let's not expose ourselves too much here. And try to go for that side toss. That thing is probably running an XL engine. I am mildly hot, but that's okay. So we're gonna try to hit the archer once more in order to get that kill. Stole another one. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, I know. I should leave something for you. Oh, I am the guy on the front line. I don't like that. How are you? Oh, I'm overheating. Should, I, should shut down at this point. I'm not here anymore. Take another target, please. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm too greedy at this point. But you know what? Greed is good. <laughs> Let's go. We are 11-4. That was a great display of teamwork here, really. Some would call it a stomp, but some could also call it being out of position in the early game. The Assault Max, that is. And uh, being completely separated by the, the team. And as a result, getting overrun by a big murder ball. So, it is just that. We had an opportunity to get a kill. We took that opportunity. And um, I think we won at this point. Also, last guy is here. Down he goes. Perfect. So, 12 and 4, this mech works. It really works. It's kind of hard in a hard environment like that here, but I think, um, given the circumstances, we still performed quite well here. So, let's take a look. We got 822 damage out. We got 4 killing blows, 3 kill most damage dealt with 6 assists, and we got 7 components destroyed. Guys, that has been it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.